As a young woman, I grew up reading magazines, More Magazine, Heat Magazine, Grazia, all these magazines, Closer Magazine. I don't even know if half of them exist still. But what I do remember as a young woman and young girl is being heavily influenced by what I saw and read. And I was constantly being confronted with images of women, either that they looked unsexy or unattractive because they were caught on the beach with, you know, their bikini misplaced or that they looked amazing at an award ceremony or that what they wore at the award ceremony was terrible. And women were constantly being either voted up or down based on what they wore, their size, their makeup, their choices. Now, this was really insidious. And when I got to my early 20s, I started to have quite disproportionate reactions to myself in how I saw myself. So there's a really interesting study that exists and, and I've forgotten the name of the study, so I apologise. But I remember talking about it with a friend quite recently. And in this study, you take your body <laughs> naked, you take, take your head off, so your head is not in, in the photo. And this photo is shown to strangers. And strangers will give their opinion on what the body is like. Now, nine times out of 10, and the majority of the time, the feedback given about this body is really positive. So, you know, they may say, oh gosh, look at the curves, or look at the shoulder blades, or look how pretty the collarbones are, or look how delicate their hands are, or, or look how shapely their legs are. Whatever it is, human beings innately find positive aspects with other people's bodies. But in this day and age, we don't see naked bodies. We only see clothed bodies apart from our loved ones, people we choose to share our bodies with, um, our children, etc. And And, you know, I think it's really important that my son grows up seeing nudity because he needs to understand what bodies look like. So I don't cover myself in front of my son. He's seven. I mean, I grew him in my tummy and I think it's important he knows what, his mummy's body looks like because it's my body and it's normal. Now, many, many years ago, I went on holiday and I went to a naturist beach. Now, I'd never been to one before, but off I went, found this amazing beach. And on this beach, it completely changed my opinions on what naturism was. Because firstly, I thought it might be a bit odd or it might be a bit sexualized. But there were families. Some people were fully nude, some people were partially nude, others were wearing their bikinis and shorts and covered. It was a complete choice to be as comfortable as you wished you wanted to be. So I took the plunge, I took off all my clothes, and it was the most liberating feeling to be out in nature, in the sun. I obviously put sunscreen in all the important places everywhere, and just seeing this amazing nature around me but whilst being completely natural myself was phenomenal but that aside I remember looking at other people's bodies differently I didn't see criticism in how I looked at them in fact I never had but furthermore I saw the beauty in everybody even the elderly people who were on this beach I, I looked at them with respect and admiration for the years that they have lived and their bodies being beautiful for the age they are. And we're never confronted with that. We we don't look at, you know, I don't see bodies that are, you know, 70, 80 year olds naked because, you know, the beauty industry, the porn industry, this is all filled with young ideals of what we're meant to look like. But actually the human body is incredible in all shapes, in all sizes. So I digress, but if you have any feelings of uncomfortableness with your own body, which I do, I think it's human to doubt ourselves. Firstly, get opinions from others, because how other people perceive you will be probably blow your mind as to what you actually look like. And secondly, if you can get yourself onto a nature speech, <laughs> that's my challenge to you. It will change the way you look at your own body, because you will realise that you are beautiful. No matter what you feel are your shortcomings, you are beautiful in how you are made. And trust me, 
when I say that everybody, every wrinkle, every imperfection makes us perfect. So that's my take on body positivity. What's yours?